Hello and welcome. I'm Anthony Hudson. Tonight, we're coming to you from the MCG. Well, half the seats are filled here today. I suspect that's as good as it's going to get. Well, joining me for special comments for this match is Gary Lyon. Thanks, Hutto. I've been waiting for this game all week. Well, the big game here tonight will be between the Tigers and Fremantle. sharp and the crowd are appreciating it I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today that's true I know it's a big midfield battle today whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out with us today are ready for the players. The captains make their way to the centre circle for the coin toss. The Tigers winning the toss. Can't wait for this one to begin, and I think the crowd would agree too. They are on the edge of their seats. And here we go. It's Richmond taking on Fremantle. March back there to mop up. Tips it towards half forward. Bernal runs after the ball. Puts on a big hit. Marchbank puts on a bump. Puts on a bump. Contests the hard ball. Marchbank will get the free. Uses it now. A race for the loose ball. Ball gets cut off. Ball spills. The loose ball scooped up. The ball will be coming back. Picking it up was Hartlett. This is it off. The Eber has a teammate on the move. Duncan on the ball. Kelly down. It's marked by Lynch. Lynch has resources out wide. Norton scoops it up. Finding the ball was Ainsworth. He decides to go for home. The drop part sails between the big sticks. Excited about that one. They draw first blood. About to resume hostilities. Goldstein just swats it away. Bo couldn't snaffle it. Hit the man hard. Ball picked up. Hurried kick. Couldn't quite with the mark. Adams with quick hands. Petrarca goes long and delivers the goal. He celebrates hard after that. Richmond slot their first goal. About to resume play. Goldstein gets it down. A quick handball from Kelly. A chance to reload the attack now. A low stabbing kick. Finds himself in space and marks. Goes by foot. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent. And it's a free. Bernal kicks the ball deep. Mark will be paid. Hands it out to open space. Finding the loose ball was out. Going for goal number one. The kick connects for the post. Fremantle lead by one. Weighing up the options now. Finds a target. Searches for a teammate downfield. Couldn't snaffle it. Slams it onto the boot. Has to do better than that in the mark contest.
Sinks the slipper into it. He gives chase to the footy. Burton couldn't complete the tackle. Chips it towards half forward. Takes a nice mark. Packs it forward. Intercepts the ball well. Puts it on the boot. Easily takes the mark. Brown plays it on. Opportunity for Kelly. Picked up now. Keeps it moving. With the ball now. Henderson rushes with the kick. Lute had it, lost it. Norton dug it out. Handball's under pressure. Intercepted by Langdon. Slips the handball to Butler. The ball spills in the tackle. He can take off after that handball. Takes it well. 50 metres out. Ainsworth going for number two. Good looking kick off the booth, and it sailed through. He's enjoying every second of it out there. He loved that one. The game is back underway. Clears the contest. Handballs. He's got the football now. Seedsman gets his first possession. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Going for goal number one. A long effort at goal. And it goes all the way. Duncan celebrates with the fans. That's two in a row for Fremantle. The lead is now 13. Goldstein won it down. Just put it on the booth. Takes a simple grab. Chips it towards half forward. Ainsworth was taken high in the tackle. A chance here to convert for Fremantle. The distance might be just beyond him. Move it on. He drives it towards goal. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Just handballs in his face. No luck for him there. It's a behind. The Dockers' plea is now 14. Walker considering the options on the kick here. Doing well with the mark. McKenna hacks it forward. Williams looking to track down the footy. Lynch hacking it out of there. Through for a nice ball. Fifteen points the difference. Walker unsure of the next move. The mark is taken by Langdon. Clearing kick out of the defensive 50. Duray slams it onto the boot. Takes a strong mark. McAvoy urged on by the crowd. Prepares the kick. 25 metres out. Going for goal number one. He delivers with a drop pass. McAvoy enjoying that goal. That's three in a row for Fremantle. 21 points the difference. Goldstein guides it down. Scully gets on the end of this. This is Walker. He gets his hands on the footy. Try to avoid everything out there. Drives it long. Finds a bit of room to mark. The Dockers are allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. If they continue to get beat in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Putting this one through would give the Dockers plenty of confidence. But takes it strongly. Moves it by foot. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the opening term. The scores, Fremantle, 27, took the Tigers, 6. Fremantle could have to be happy with that first term. Ainsworth, the number one ranked player on the ground. He's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. Players ready to start the second quarter. We resume hostilities. Thump clear. Bounce works for Lynch. Puts the handball out in front. 
Fighting hard was Trelaw. Manufactures the handball. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Walker bangs it on the boot now. Strong with the body and wins the mark. A spear and kick. Marchbank gets the loose ball. Finds the loose ball. Dug out the loose ball. Lynch is streaming past and gets the footy. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. With quick hands, hacking it out of there. Control well off the bounce. Just got the hands in the back there. Butler drives the kick. Hartlett finds a way to hang on. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Rampy lobs the handball. Kelly sends it into space. Taken by Langford. Burton pushes his opponent off with one hand. Handballs to a teammate on the run. North marks in a bit of space. Great mark under pressure. Burnell uses it by foot. Lining up for goal. This will certainly test him from this distance. Scully doesn't take the mark. Sinclair with the ball. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. McKenna kicks it to the square. Decides to kick. A solid mark from Kelly. Keeps the kick low. Casbah, the better man there. Big kick required from this distance. Going for goal number one. Narrow misses there. Richmond close the gap to 20. Players move as they look to provide an option. Uses it by foot. Walker with the opportunity in front of goal. 50 metres out. Put his body on the line. Quick handball. Hartley moves it by hand. And now they're away. The tackle slipped high and results in a free. Shield kicks it. Kelly hangs on to that one. Goes with the kick. The ball finds Rampy. Tries to gain some territory. Duray marks. Elects to kick. Takes that one strongly. Eber keeps that one low. The ball spells to Kelly. Ball up in the centre square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Goldstein sends it clear of the contest. Does well to cut off the kick. Williams with a spearing kick. Sinclair determined to reach the ball. Gets into some space to mark this. McAvoy looking to put through another goal. Smiles all round. That's four in a row for Fremantle. The margin is 26. And now Duncan... Spills the mark. Picks up the loose ball. Releases by hand. We'll get a ball up. Swatson, Kelly finds possession. Hands that ball to the opposition. Sometimes you just sit back and enjoy the show. He puts through his first goal. Seedsman, with that kick, has increased the lead. Gets some reward for his efforts. He wins possession. Kasbah will be the recipient of the free. Keeps the kick low. A chance to gather the ball. Practicing some fancy moves. Miles needs to deliver a goal with this chance. Can't take possession. Gathered by Shield. Butler a bit too casual with the tackle. Stands tall and marks. Duray moves it now. 
Winning the ball in the air was North. Works it across the ground. McAvoy works onto that ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Ball collected. McKenna collects the loose ball. Had plenty of the ball. Gathers it now. Gets a hand to the ball. Picked up by Crouch. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Hits him hard. Crouch hit the man hard. Cox dropped what he should have taken. Caught with quick hands. He has the ball. Seedsman gives it to the player running past. Darts it through for another. He acknowledges the crowd. Fremantle could kick the last six goals. The lead is now 38. McAvoy just slaps it down. Adams made the tricky bounce look easy. Constant pressure and rewarded. Is in his possession. Takes possession. Sinclair got the hands for it. Fremantle doing well at the moment. Fremantle are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Coaches love to see that kind of tackle. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. He's enjoying every second of it out there. They get around him after that effort. Won the hit out. Gets a quick kick away. Bernal presents and takes the mark. 50 metres out. Drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. Bernal making the lead bigger. Look at him. He... How did you see the second term, Gaz? It's been a promising first half for Fremantle. They'd be confident they can keep it going in the second half. McAvoy having an impact right now. He's having a fantastic game. We're halfway through this match and things are getting interesting. Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. Goldstein won the hit out. Lee collects it. Licks with hands. Pushes through with power. He flicks it over. Moves the ball by foot. Showing control was Butler. No issues with that drop play. Pretty happy with that one. Richmond close the gap to 45. Slapped away. He gains possession. Duncan gets the loose ball. Finds his man. It's a huge kick. And it goes all the way. Gets his first. This league getting bigger now. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around, Boak? They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Centre bounce. Goldstein does well. Uses a short handball. Kicks hurriedly. Richards moves it by hand, slams it onto the boot. Eber couldn't hang onto the ball. Things not looking good for Spargo. Gaz, what does it look like to you? Doesn't look good, Hutto. It's hard to see him coming back on. Goes by hand. Puts boot to ball. It's marked by Ainsworth. Quickly onto the boot. Both does well to mark. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. Takes aim, sends it home. He's enjoying that goal. Fremantle have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Now they lead by 57. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive.
We're back in the middle to resume play. Hammers it. A clean collect. McGrath dishes it off. Tries to release the pressure. Duray picks up the loose ball. Fends off the tackler. Looks up with a kick. A great mark taken there. Uses it by foot. Finds this one all by himself. Casbolt plays on. Drives it inside 50. Taking a nice grab. Wiedemann to have the shot from outside 50. Going for goal number one. The kick just clears the line for a goal. Richmond converting the time of desperate need. Congratulated by his teammates. Umpire ready to resume play. Wins the ruck duel. Ends up with McAvoy. He's having a big game right there. He's setting the example at the moment. Duncan looking to put through another goal. Fremantle supporters delighted by that effort. That pushes the lead further out. His teammates rush over. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Back in the middle. Fremantle are in front in the clearances and it's allowing them to create pressure up the field and scoring opportunities. Wiedemann just threw it. Duray goes with the kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Here's a chance for Butler. Decides to go. A strong pack mark. 40 metres from home. McGrath can bring the fans alive with this kick. Celebrating hard. Richmond behind by 51. Back in the middle now. Guides it down. Here's Miles. Adams finds his man on the move. He wins possession. Penetrating handball. Thompson gains possession. Now we've got a ball up. I hate to say it, Hutto, but this game is over. McGrath charges with intent. Awkwardly got the handball out. Seen plenty of it. Ainsworth looks to get onto the football. McAvoy releases by hand. Little one-two. Has it now. Well taken at ground level. He's got the footy in his hands. Duncan steals possession. Receives the handball and takes off. And gets another possession. Takes possession. Langford goes to the man on the run. Finds a bit of room to mark. Fantastic goal by Fox. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the board. Important kick here. And it goes through. Look at them celebrate that effort. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Turned it over. Didn't get away from the tackle. Big tackle. He gets his hands on the footy. He might kick a goal. The mark is taken by Sinclair. 20 metres out. Keep it on. Going for goal number one. Chalk a goal up for three men. Sinclair getting the crowd involved. 51 points the difference. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Fremantle are getting plenty of marks with loose players. They're really able to control the game and move at their own pace. We're back in the middle to resume play. Fremantle are getting first use from their ruck. Marchbank throws the ball away. Bike channels a long kick. 
a mark by Kelly. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Langford throws the ball away. Duray drives the kick. Couldn't take it. Rockcliffe uses it by foot. A lot of possessions for him. Wiedemann short by hand. He can take off after that handball. Scoops up the ball. The loose ball picked up. Going for goal number one. That one rams into the post. Margin in a really tricky situation. The ball ends up going to ground. The ball spills to Shield. Punches the kick. Took his eyes off the ball. A big tackle there. Great tackling there, Hutto. Sends it clear of the contest. McAvoy didn't mark it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Missed the target. He gives it a ride. He was celebrating that goal. The moment it left his boot. No doubt about it. Buck has three goals now. Gets him a reward for his efforts. Back in the middle now. McAvoy farmed it down. Hurried kick. The ball ends up with Ainsworth. Moves it by. As we go into the final change, the scores are the Dockers 88, Richmond 32. A big final term coming up. Fremantle walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. Plenty of scoring opportunities in the third term. It'll... Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? It's been a clearance game and right... Last quarter action, ready to go. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. Back in the middle. One down. Doing well was Goldstein. Rushes with the kick. The mark has been taken. Ainsworth with a spearing kick. Mechanic wins the mark in contest. Goes by foot. And the ball bounces across the boundary line. Well, this game is really getting out of hand. Ball back into play. Thumps it clear. Ainsworth couldn't stick the tackle on Williams. He has the ball. Dishes it off to a player on the run. A poorly executed tackle there. Pumps the ball long. Spargo runs after this one. Petrarca dug out the loose ball. Adams takes it well. If they kick this, they give themselves a chance. Smiles all round. Richmond now only trailed by 50. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Fremantle have been terrific at finding space to move the ball. Their ability to find a player in space is first class and it sees them in charge. Umpire ready to resume play. Thump clear. Stephen controlled it well off the bounce. Langford takes it well. Might be too far out to score. They are desperate for a goal now. So close. Just misses and have to take those half chances. Richmond produced the margin. Fremantle have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Boat having an impact again. He's getting off the chain. Petrarca lobs the handball. March back keeps that one low. Is accepted. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. He's been superb today, Hutto. Finds this and marks well. Walker has resources out wide. Mark will be paid. Fremantle just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. 
Mops up the loose ball, finding the ball with ease. And now they create a turnover. Lobs the handball. He lays off the pass. Petrarca receives the ball. McGrath puts on a big hit. The ball mopped up. Ainsworth gives the don't argue. Collected by Hartlett. Gets a hand in. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. That's a big goal. What an effort. Look at them celebrate that effort. Richmond could have kicked the last two goals. Plenty of time to peg this margin back. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Another goal here, and this game could be well and truly over. Henderson hit the man hard. Charges with intent. Duncan collects it. He's got the football now. Kelly gets on the end of that handball. The ball knocked out in the tackle. With the ball now. Drops the mark. Through for points. Unable to make any inroads there. Richmond behind by 42. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Spargo runs after this one. Contest the hard ball. Spargo earns a free kick. He doesn't want to let his teammates down with this shot at goal. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. The kick will be from a 45 degree angle. He drives it. The ball goes over the boundary line, deep inside 50. The ball is coming back into play. Tap came from McAvoy. Gets a quick kick away. Finding the loose ball was Rouch. Duncan gets him hard. Mops up the loose ball. Henderson applies a bump. The ball's knocked loose. Wins the race to the ball. Proud took his eyes off the ball. Great tackle. Movement by hand. A chance for Vogue. It's been a great game from Henderson. He's everywhere at the moment. He kicks that goal with purpose. Yes, I know. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. He's excited about that one. We resume hostilities. Taps it down. Is in his possession. With the ball is Chiel. Going for goal number one. Great mark. Goal scoring opportunity for Sinclair. Distance no issue. It's all about the accuracy. If they just maintain possession and hold onto the ball for a moment, they should be able to hold on here. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Fremantle by nine goals. Punched away. Kelly, interesting handball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. The sting has been taken out of the game right now. Advances through the tackle. Norton read it best. Got the hands free. Ainsworth on the ball. Walker spills it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Uses it now. Easily takes the mark. Looks up with the kick. Williams gets on the end of this. Fremantle haven't been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Ball tossed back in. Tap down. Opportunity for Adams. A quick handball from Williamson. Gets the loose ball. Just manages to release the kick. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Ainsworth loves that goal. Fremantle have three in a row. 
The lead is now at 60. Swatson is in his possession. Just gave it away. Duncan gets the ball. It's a big kick, and it goes straight through. He celebrates hard after that. Fremantle, Cav four on the trot. Building a nice lead. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. When you're able to convert in front of goal like Fremantle, Cav, it's difficult to see you behind on too many occasions. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. The game never reached any great heights, and it ended as a bit of a one-sided affair. Gaz, what really stood out for you today? Richmond were just really poor today. At the end of the match, Fremantle defeated Richmond, 112 to 46. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon. It was great being here, Hutto. I can't wait for the next match.